In this video, we'll look at some more advanced circuits. Here, we see something called a series circuit. This is called a series circuit because there's only one pathway for charges to flow in this circuit, even though there are two light bulbs. What's important to note about a series circuit is that the charge flow or current in this circuit is always the same no matter where you look at it. If we look at just after the battery, we see that in this circuit there's only 0.2 amperes of current. If we look a little further along, still 0.2 amperes. Going into the first light bulb, only 0.2 amperes. Coming out of the first light bulb, 0.2. Going into the second, 0.2. And actually, if we keep going around, it's always the same value. It's not very difficult to explain why that value always has to be the same. Look at the charges. There's nowhere for them to go other through this single lane of traffic. Therefore, however many charges per second come out of the battery is the same all the way through the circuit as go back into the battery. What you could say in a series circuit is that the charge flow is constant. Even if the two light bulbs are actually different in their resistance, the charge flow has to be the same through both of them. That's because there is only one pathway for those charges to follow. If we look at a parallel circuit, the behavior is a little different. Let's open up a parallel circuit. And here in this case, notice that the charge flow is actually different in the two branches. Right? Coming out of the battery, 1.16 amperes. In this light bulb, only 0.9. And in this bulb, still only 0.26. So what's the same in this circuit? Well, let's take a look at the energy. For the charges that move through the battery, we see a value of 9 volts. If we look at the energy that this light bulb dissipates per charge, it's 9 volts. If we look at the charge, or the energy that's dissipated in each charge to this light bulb, again, also 9 volts. So in a parallel circuit, it's not the charge flow that's the same in each branch, but instead, it's the amount of energy that a charge, a single unit of charge, will dissipate in each branch. That's also known as the voltage. So for a parallel circuit, you might actually say that the voltage is the same in each branch of the circuit. And those are the major differences between the two types of circuits that can be constructed.